Well, welcome back, everyone. I'm uh, currently traveling back to the mire because uh, I went back home and, well, modified this fucking shotgun. It does not very much more, but it does 112 damage now. And I got it modified with all the best stuff pretty much for recoil control and all that fun stuff. And then, uh, oop. yeah, basically went in there, fixed up my weapon and stuff, kind of, you know, did all that good stuff. Also went ahead and sold a bunch of stuff and bought a bunch of stuff from a couple of vendors, mostly the Raider and the, uh, the white uh, spring vendors. We were just out and about doing stuff and things, you know. But, uh, I got some more lights, some more doors, bought a bunch of ballistic fiber, like, I think three or four, like, bulk fiber things, which I think is at least ten each. So, starting to stock up on the ballistic fibers. So once... Oh, it's a Yagawai. I don't care. I can fuck it up. Right, Ant boy, where you at? Oh, it's over there killing another young boy. Oh god! Should we kill this one first? Fuck, okay. Okay. That's that's fair. Ow. We're just gonna go ahead and got weaving sores. Man, fuck you. <laughs> Just run away now, huh? What all you guys got in you? They don't want the damn. Let me run. Let's go. Come on. Don't run from me. You're only gonna die tired. Oh god, it's coming out for us. There we go. Oh, I also swore all my rat away and stuff, which, uh... There was a lot of it. I had 47 right away, I think it was. Sold it all. Ah, uh, made a pretty penny there. Well, I would have made a pretty penny had I not bought stuff. So we went from like 2,000 caps down to like 1,000 because I kept buying stuff and it doesn't give you that one-to-one -one good trade when you buy things, so. But yeah. Sold a bunch of worthless scrap that we had, which was good. Mostly just uh, ceramic and cork and things that we don't really use too much of, to be real honest. Also, I made some uh, more ammunition. Specifically the, what were they, the, the fifth, no, no, they were the, the, the two MC um, packs that used, the, the railgun uses them those things. I figured uh, once we you know, deal with these guns that we currently have and want to use another gun, we'll have that, uh, you know, good ol' good ol' rail gun we can start using. It does pretty decent damage. It does like 113 or something like that. I think you can charge it up too. I don't know if that's the charge rate, is that 113 damage, or if that's just, uh, like, if it is charged up, or if it's just a single shot, without charging, it'd be interesting. But, uh, yeah, I think it'd be kind of cool to use a railgun. What I really want is those fucking guns that people are using on me, that people had used on me previously, or that I see higher level people using, where they're like, 
I just one shot you. That was great. Like that one time, we uh, had a bounty accidentally because we shot a guy's base, like once. And I was like, oh, better give you a, a fucking 10 cap bounty so that someone can kill you. And then uh, I got shot by a person and it hurt. Like, uh, it was almost like a shotgun, I feel, but it wasn't. It was like weird. It felt like light particles just hit me and destroyed the shit out of my fucking body. Is what it was. Okay. Anyway. Let's, uh... Every time I fucking see those damn glowy things, I'm like, oh, is that something? And it's, no, it's, it's nothing. Personally, I cannot believe we still have not seen a sloth yet. It's weird, right? That we haven't seen a sloth? Maybe they're specific to the mire? I think that's where we were seeing them in like the trailers and stuff, but... I don't want to see one. They must be rare. I wonder if they're fast. Or if they're like, slow as sloths should be. But, I don't know. A vile tick, huh? I got something for that ass. You wanna come at me, tick, huh? You want some? Fish are there, monster town there, campground there, there's that mine, or dam, I guess. Can I just... Nope, can't crouch there. Okay, let's just... Right over here, then. What about this house? It's unmarked. Hello? Anybody home? Ooh, a bottle cast. Hell yeah. Worth it. Not really at all. A ranger terminal, huh? Okay. Nothing of importance there. Fucking noise when I take this out. Gives me every time. Do, do, do. Very nice. You know, I need to like take some time, like off recording, to like call in those fucking six airdrops that I got. Because I just got way too fucking many. What does sleeping sores even do? Oh, I bleed from wounds. Ooh. Good thing I have a healing factor that, you know, heals me faster than I can fucking weep. Well, it's all that second floor there. Ooh, more ammunition. Thank you. I'll never turn down free ammunition. Any ammunition I don't have to make is good ammunition. Almost done. It's only been a few weeks since the bombs fell. We've been trying to do what we can to keep the kids calm. We keep ourselves calm. Supplies are almost gone. Some people left for Harper's Ferry or Berkle, Ber Berkeley Springs, which is a good thing. Less people to deal with. I've been feeling sick. My hair's falling out. Don't know what this means. I want to cry, scream for the kids. Away from their families. Dying just like me, I can't lose it. I need to stay strong for them. And once they're all gone, because I know it won't be long, then I can scream and cry and finally end this. I'm going back. Like, are there people out there who don't know, like, radiation? Like, sickness? stuff, or is that literally just, like, me, who, like, knows a decent amount about it? Like, fatigue, and, like, diarrhea, and losing your hair, and all that stuff. But, like, losing your hair is way down the line. Like, the first symptoms of radiation poisoning are literally, like, oh, I just got the flu, or something like that. 
<laughs> oh, I've got a little bit of a sickness. But no, it's like, as soon as you fucking get radiation sickness and you're like, oh, that's radiation, it's pretty much too late to, like, really deal with it properly. Right? Maybe I'm thinking about a little bit off or something there, but for the most part, the first signs or symptoms of radiation is... Jesus Christ, I guess 120-something? So, since we have this, uh, fissure mapped, what I'm gonna do is avoid the fissure. Because it's technically mapped and there's nothing actually there for me to, like, interact with at the fissure. So if I just kind of leave it alone, I can always come back to it at some point, right? Nice light rays. This is so fucking creepy, walking around the mire like this. At night. Oh, so creepy. I just wanted to see if that fucking guy was coming after me or not. You hear that? Right there! Got him. Grab it. Oh, also while uh, going through the railroad areas, I found another site alpha key. Not that it matters, because we're probably not going to be able to get into the silos before the reset here. But we have a shit ton of keys. Like, a shit ton of keys, y'all. Here. We have... Oh, hold on. Gotta kill this tick first. Hey! You can't just fucking make me come out of my inventory and then fucking run away. That's not how this works, my dude. Okay. A shit ton of keys here. I think we're almost done for Bravo. Or Alpha. One of the two, right? Oh, fuck off. Fuck town. Population me. Okay, Scorch Beast, if you could, like, literally fuck off for, I don't know, maybe, like, an hour, that'd be great. I'm so like I don't have a shit ton of, like, stim packs, but I'd rather not use them. Just trying to, you know, survive and loot normal thing. Syringe ammo and more plasma grenades, excellent. Come on. A little more! Oh my god, come on, I'm gonna die! Almost done. Oh, bastard. Come on, use this impact. There we go. Do you want to fucking do the Scorch Beast? Where the hell you at? I can't even fucking see your ass in the trees. Come on. That ain't fair.
Didn't want the gas mask, but I guess we'll take it now, huh? God damn it. A tick, really? Oh, two ticks, huh? Where's the level 200 some guy? Oh, he fucked off. Cool. Let's hope I maybe I can get the, uh... Force Beast to attack it and leave me the fuck alone. But, I don't know. A lot of ticks around here. Oh, there's Scorched Ticks, too. Excellent, that's just great. It's a motel. This place is like a small town, so like there's bound to be some interesting stuff around, right? Offers, hot dog. I don't know what the fuck that is. Another stim pack. For those of you keeping track at home, how many have I used so far? Okay, we're leaving. This is cancer. Heading for this airplane. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me on the gingerbread man. Part of the plane wreckage. Oh, that's cool as fuck. That's fucking scorched, really? Enough! doing what an interesting place at least the scorch beast went ahead and fucked off that was really cool Ooh. Hmm. there's a keypad with a safe there huh means there should be a note somewhere or something I can use to uh, deal with that. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Ugh. Walking around like this really throws me off. God, that was a nice fucking hit. Oh my god. Y'all saw that, right? The fucking huge ass dip in his fucking health. Where I fucking jumped down there and just slammed into him. Ah, oh, good shit. Hmm. I don't see any of the wreckage for the... Fuck me, plane. That could have been... Yeah, I guess we're ready. This wing? No? I'm not seeing any other wreckage where there could be like a survivor or someone at who had left a note about get into the plane thing here. Yeah, I see a bunch of luggage, but I thought they're gonna put it in luggage. Oop. That doesn't sound good. Hard to search that. This is just a engine. Hmm.
Is that just a truck? Or a van down here? Yeah. I like it. Sort of rocky crags. Well, there was some sort of uh, house type thing over this way, was there not? Right here, yes. Maybe they went over here and, I don't know, put something in the house or died in the house or something. Oh shit. I think died. This looks like a super mutant type base almost. Okay, well that's not what I was expecting to find here. Let's see. We have back that way. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back that way. I don't want to leave that stuff just kind of sitting there unexplored now, do I? Especially since there's a workshop. We can see what actually comes to this workshop in terms of loot and stuff. So... I suppose while we're running around all willy-nilly, we don't need our light on to make things, like, ugly looking. We can go ahead and turn it off to really bask in the beautiful glow of this place, you know what I'm saying? Shotgun time. Hmm. You are suffering from weeping sores. You're suffering from weeping sores, like you. Why use a gun when you can just, you know, punch the shit out of things, huh? Actually, my strength is maxed, so I could potentially not even use this tambourine. I've done all I can to help my family, to try and help my neighbors, but somehow, somehow it all went wrong. Beth, the kids, I want to yell at Maddie for leaving her toys around, or remind Max to poke air holes in his firefly jar. What? Well, they're gone. Oh, that makes more sense. Dead. Should have stopped. Should I have stopped when they came to the house? Or denied Beth her medicine? Should I have listened to Relay to begin with? All I wanted was to save them. And now I'm left with nothing. My only comfort is that I'm about to leave all this behind. And Beth, if I don't get to join you in the afterlife, forgive me. Hmm. So did his kids die and then he was kind of left all alone? After his wife died and stuff like that? Or what exactly happened to the dude? Maybe we'll find more notes, or like a holotape or something, you know? See you there. I can get some, yeah. That, uh... Shock doesn't seem to do much to anything. Except for, like, notify me that I have another attacker, which allows me to turn around and punch it in the face. Which, you know, maybe that's all I need. Is to be able to punch things real quick. Ah, someone beat me to it, motherfucker. Probably that fucking high-level guy. He was probably here and then went up north and... Ah! Yeah. More than likely what happened. Ugh. Oh yeah, by the way, scissors don't have fucking screws in them. Apparently it's just steel and... I'm actually curious now. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Steel and plastic! I guess they just rivet the fucking thing closed. Rather than put a, you know... A fucking... Screw in it. I already searched here. Oh, that's all this is. Well, the other ones seem to have, like, fuses. Right? This one didn't? Huh. Okay. Well, whatever works. <sighs> Anyhow... Mm. Let us continue onward. To this place over here, to the workshop area. 
And we'll see what we can actually... Actually, probably just tell me what I get out of it right now, right? Yeah. Food and water is what it says, but I think more stuff will appear as I get closer. Oh, it's just a scorched. Yeah. <gasps> Flying punch! Aw, oh, damn. I was like an inch short of landing that fucking hit. What you got for me? A fuse? Fuck. Oh god, hey buddy. Didn't see you there. Flying punch! Got him. There's fucking many of you guys, oh, damn. You want some too? Let's go. Come on. We're coming out of the woodwork, aren't y'all? Me though, right? Let's get down. Just want to see what this area is here. Looks like. Was that me or was that a gun? Whatever. What do we get from here? Really, it's just food and water. What a shitty place. Who would honestly take this over? There's literally no reason to do so. Doing so would just be a waste of your money and your time, right? Unless you want like a base of operations in the area while you searched stuff. So you could just teleport back here and, you know, do things. Ow. Weird. I need some people to check at the pumpkin house. Quick, give me these fucking daily quests. A little bit of food and drink, I figure we'll... Oh, I also took out all of my, um... non-perishable items from the, uh... storage uh, chest. That way, it's not taking up a bunch of stuff. I think I dropped, like, ten pounds in my storage chest by taking it all out. So, quite worth it, one might say. Alright, let's hit this dam first, then we can go down to the uh, water treatment plant-looking thing, and, uh... Do that an organic solution quest and that should be just enough time to do all that tambourine tambourine I need something that hits a lot harder like I need something that does like 200 plus damage trick-or-treater hey there traveler dick shale here Welcome to Appalachia! <laughs> Did you know that Autumn Fest takes place the last weekend in October? One of Appalachia's most famous tourist attractions is the Pumpkin House. In 1978, the Pumpkin House began with only four pumpkins carved for a Halloween display. Since then, the number of hand-carved pumpkins has grown to 300. Does a house with 300 hand-carved pumpkins attract attention? You betcha! Be sure to take the kiddos and check out all those pumpkins! Mm. Mm, that noise. I see you up there. Oh fuck, he's got a rocket launcher. This will hurt since it's not in power armor. Right. Let's back up real quick. Get some range. Of course, it's a warlord with a shit ton of health, and he's got a missile launcher. That works. Now let's do this. I 
Come that grenade, buddy. Uh, no? I hear a bug. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That's the warlord, huh? Eat my grenades, buddy! Oh, hey. Execute. Hmm. There's another warlord. Yeah, we didn't have a missile launcher on him. Tapes called Thanks Lenny, huh? Kind of a waste of a shotgun shell on a rat roach, but you know, whatever. A rifle scatter laser rifle at that. Ow, I think myself with that. Fuck me. Impact collection looking. I'm done at three? Fuck, I had like 40 before. I don't need fucking tank scorch beast breath, god damn it. Ho ho ho! Ooh. Don't you shoot the fucking missile launcher, dude! I said don't do that. Why would you do that? You were right there with me. Come on, man. That ain't cool. Don't take the missile. Okay. Something about a big trailer key? Is there a trailer on this dam somewhere? Uh, yeah, give me that. Trailer, a trailer, a trailer. If I were a trailer, where would I be down there, maybe? Oop. Oop. Maybe in there. Hey. Oh, cool. Stuff that I don't want. Gosh, that's... Just perfect. What about in here? Wow, you survived my shotgun shot? I guess most of the bullets missed, huh? It is buckshot. Death claw, gauntlet, extra claw. Hmm. Water control station, a combat shotgun. Why not take it? What do you got? You're 90? Yeah, just what I have. Let's look at the water control. Output control. Increase flow? In uh, flow adjustment must be monitored for 10 minutes to confirm success. Mm. 
Gotcha. Okay. I don't know what that does or what it would do. Or even where that would affect things at. Would it be here? This is the dam. Which one's the input and which is the output? It might be for like an event or something. Yeah. Right, there was a thing down there. We can look at that after we look at the next area. Ah! Ah, oh, no. So close, yet so far. Okay. Let's heady spaghetti selfie happy How about you, laddie? What the fuck did I just say? Ah, fuck. You're not supposed to come turn at me, man. Just to keep running the way I wanted you to run so I could shoot you in your fucking face. God, no respect, I tells you. No respect. Okay, well, it's dead. Dire chemical. All right, we leveled up too, didn't we? Well, there's a robo brain over there somewhere. Well, while we're not being attacked, so I've just been getting up at the moment the uh, levels of your non-automatic rifles, no more damage stuff. So. I want to keep doing that, so my uh, actual rifle... Oops, what I do? I hit C? Oh, yeah, okay. Let's get rid of green thumb. Put an extra rifleman. There we go, now we do a total of 40% extra damage with my... With my automatic rifles, namely this gun. Unless this counts as an energy gun. Which it could, for all I know. It does count as an energy gun, doesn't it? I think I got killed at once, and I was like, oh, that counts as a energy weapon kill or something, which is dumb. This should be a semi-auto weapon, but whatever. Oh, hey, we kind of got to see how you doing, my dude. Look, you're a little bit on fire. I wanted to put you out. There you go. What do we got here? Nitrogen. Odd place to store nitrogen, but okay. Excuse me while I reload, Mr. Gutsy. D card for that, huh? I wonder when my uh, healing factor kicks in. Do I have to be hidden or not alerted to enemies for it to kick in, I wonder? I'll try sneaking around for a little bit. See if I can figure out when it starts happening. I'm curious. Legendary Protectron Guardian, huh? What's that cabin that I'm looking at here? Come on. Nothing's shooting at me. There we go. Yep, okay. As soon as I go back to hit and my healing factor kicks back in. Oh!
Oh god, I don't expect them to fucking pursue me through here. Holy shit. Grab shit and run! I'm safe right here, right? They can't hit me right here, right? Maybe they can, I don't know. Get a grenade, you bitches! Have another one! Yeah, that's right, get fucked. Get a dick! Oh, hi, I bot. Didn't realize you wanted to die too. Okay, I'll fucking heal. Um, what was the door? Ow. Okay, moving on. Oh. Didn't really want to go back up here, but whatever, it's fine. Pull that. Oh, hi. get so far. Oh, okay, from up there. What is this door over here? Ooh, a hazmat suit. That's cool. I don't want it, but it's cool. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucker came rolling right at me. Holy shit. Final. Oh, I'm out of stim packs now. Great. Oh, no, not an assault run, not an assault run, not an assault run. I'm gonna close this real quick. Thank you. Ah. Uh. Damn it. Hold on. There. Damn it, get out of there. Where'd the robo brain go? Did they just fucking run away? Oh. And now super stim pack. The bail. Why the fuck is it so fucking much health? Ow, what the fuck? What a piece of shit. I hate robots. A bunch of bastards. Scorch beasts are worse, but I hate robots.
terminal, no, no, no. A couple terminals, huh? God damn it, why did I pick those up? Like I saw them and I was like, mm. and then I was like, yeah, let's pick those up. What's this? Well, it's something. Just an alarm button in case like something happens. Like, there's been a chemical spill. Some of the people living up on a hill. Oblong reference. Ha ha. Get some there's phosphorus. Nope. Ignore me. Deposit the chemicals, huh? Key card that should go somewhere around here, right? <sighs> Fuck. Gotta end up bringing that goddamn assault run again. I just know it. If I could just not fight that assault run again, I'd be pretty happy. A radiated bone meal. Uh, what am I uncertain here? Let me let me to read this real quick. Uh, apparent chemical additives. Insert chemicals to make a selection. Okay. Oh. Okay. Confirm. Um, begin production. Flush fertilizer into the river. Collect a strangler bloom. Okay. <clears throat> Assuming it would be right there, right? <laughs> Rock. Is that all enough to jump up here? No. What if I jump here? Oh, just a moment. Okay. Right, start. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Fuck off, fuck off. First. 
Red shield. Oh, jeez. Okay. There's just a legendary perk that reduces the carrying carry weight of about 90%. So that mini nuke launcher weighs like a pound. Fuck. There we go. It's fucked. Interesting little thing here. Okay. We gotta get up there now, huh? Okay. Um, this should be too hard. We're a wallaby after, or a marsupial, after all. Okay. Uh, this might actually be harder than I anticipated. Hmm. I don't think I can just. Ooh, right there. I found it. Let's go. Up. Yeah, boy. Or not. Go back over here. Up to this one. I said up to this one. Out and around. There we go. And now we jump up here. Ha <laughs> ha! Success! Roads are for bitches. Let's go. <clears throat> Woohoo! Access terminal. Remote door control. Status is unlocked, okay. This means you've made it to Raleigh's bunker. Which also means the Meyer detector fans must have cropped out. Next step is to find the replacement motors. Memory serves I'd go notification system. Yeah, seen it. There, you have the exciting task of finding some heating coils to upgrade them. This will make the fans to fight the moisture created by the swamp. Good news is, I have two in my bunker. Bad news is, you need three more. Raleigh's sure to have some too, so do a sweep while you're there. After that, your best bets are Ella Ames' bunker and the nearby relay tower. Once you've got enough, head back my way. I've got your next step set up to play once you're back. Hopefully. Oops, I forgot to add. <clears throat> Check for Rad Roach's first year. Fuck! Oh. Another one, huh? Okay, let's get fucker. We also had a holotape to listen to. Um, it was... Thanks, Lenny. Lenny just had to have those eggs. I told him to leave the damn things alone because... Them, but that greedy bastard didn't listen. Now, now we're being stalked by Mama Deathclaw. She already killed two of the gang. Dragged them off to who knows where. And Lenny? Yeah, he ran away. Didn't even try to put up a fight. Now the Deathclaw's back. And I doubt the rest of us make it through the night. So thanks a lot, Lenny. I hope those goddamn eggs were delicious. Because they cost us our. <coughs> Some idiot stole Death Claw's eggs. That's just genius there. Shrouded wood armor. Oh yay! I gotta have these here. I might not have been able to go on if I hadn't, you know, found those. Fuck out of here with your disease-ridden ass. Cause I got here. I know there are two different ones, but you know, motion stands. Uh, we're in the 
that, learn that, learn that, yeah. Also required some other holotapes, right? Like this one? Is it recording? Make sure it's recording. I got it, Eddie. It's recording. Jesus. All right, Madigan. You want to explain why we found you out there tampering with our stuff? Hey, you guys are always holed up in your bunkers. How else could I get your attention? Besides, a crazy contraption like that? Of course I'm gonna try to figure it out. By the way you guys came out, fully armed and ready to fight, I'm guessing it's pretty big. What you nearly broke was a Scorch Beast lure. It's the best defense we have against them. Whoa, you're telling me you're luring those things down? Ah, uh, you got some balls, Free States. Even with your numbers. Taking on a beast is no easy task. It doesn't just lure him down. We found some research and tech at one of the Brotherhood's old outposts. Hello realized if we can blast a Scorch Beast with a certain frequency, it disorients long enough for us to go in and take it out. Nira Janabi started work on the tech. We tested it. It works. Interesting. So that's what that one place at the uh, asylum was? Where we just kind of put that screeching noise on and it Fucked with the school uh, lured Scorch Beast to me. I guess I didn't really fuck with the Scorch Beasts. Because they were still blasting the fucking ever-living god out of me. This is a real game changer, Raleigh. If what you say is true. It's true, Hank. The system would be done if it weren't for those damn raiders. Look, if this is as big as you think it is, the fire breathers can handle any raiders. But I need to know how the system works and see it in action first. Hey, if you think we're gonna just reveal our work to an ex-Brotherhood member, think again. You wanna see how this system works? Well, you've got some serious trust to earn. And then we had Ella's research, which we already learned. Um, so where the fuck is the heating coil at? Oh. It's at a relay tower, of course. Well, let's hit up this little, uh, thing in the boodle. Thing the boodle, thing the doodle, little, 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 here, and then we can real quick go over there. So we already have that on map and a lot of fun stuff. Oh, <gasps> we found one! It's a scorched mega sloth. Scorched mega sloth. So it's not a good mega sloth, but uh, I'll take it. It's like throwing dirt on itself. His movements are pretty slow. I think it's trying to throw stuff at me, but it doesn't have anything to throw. I mean, ow. Okay, there we go. Now I hit something for me. There we go. And we got one! Mushroom, huh? Does that expire? Y'all hear that? I don't want either of those. I hear it. Where's it at? Damn, my accuracy. Accuracy, why are you bad? Oh, hold on, gotta reload. Quality medical supplies, huh? I'll take it. Can you turn into paste? What's this other one I killed? Right here, I <laughs> walked right over his ass. Gunpowder. I didn't turn him into ash. Okay, cool. Level 34 fucking minigun. Fuck that shit. I'm not gonna take your goddamn minigun unless it's fucking high rank. Leave that there too.
45. Uh, if I take this, yeah, I want it for now. See it. Yeah. Another Cyclode Alpha. Hell yeah, boy. Photo op. Oop, I meant, uh... I wish I had more poses. I should buy more. Beautiful. Okay, that's done. Let's continue. Oh, this is nice. This place is very nice. Are these... These must be medical skeletons. Since they didn't say quality medical supplies, right? You know, maybe all the skeletons we're seeing around the wasteland actually came from here. And they're all just fake skeletons. You know? Wouldn't that be fucking funny? Or, maybe they came from here, but they're real skeletons. Dun dun dun. Skeleton Extraction Guide. Method for construction of skeleton for general use. Step 1. Acquire cadaver. Oh! Step 2. Using a fillet knife. Remove as much flesh as you can without marking the underlying bones. Place cadaver in a wooden box packed with calcium oxide. Wait a week. Place the remains in a water overflow of some kind, like a stream or river. Clean off any remaining flesh or ligamentation. Allow skeleton to dry in the sun. Be wary of predator birds or wild dogs. Bleach and mount skeleton. If your tombstone does not read rest in peace or some uh, variant thereof, you're automatically drafted into the skeleton wars. <laughs> oh, baby, I love it. That's good. Okay, so these were all real people. Okay! Good to know, I guess. A little fucked up, but good to know. Oh. Ooh. I meant to land on the fence. There we go. I'm really on the fence about that. Ha <laughs> ha! Really? Oh, the place is open. Level yours, 45? I was already 45 too. I can scrap one though now. Scrap that one. Didn't learn anything, okay. Well, hold on just one moment. Okay. We have a cushioned, uh, we have a deep pocketed, hardened. Trapper chest piece. Okay, that's what I was looking for. I wonder if that other one was better, but it's not, so we can scrap that one. And hopefully get another, uh... Nope. Damn. Okay, well, that's this place scoured. Let's head over to the Relay Tower. And that'll probably wrap us up after we, uh, clear out this Relay Tower.
You know, I'm not really a fan of what they did with the hacking and lockpicking perks, where they separated them into three. It could have just as easily been like one, like, perk, and just like three levels of it. You know? What the fuck are you? Oh god. Uh, give me a grenade, please. There we go. Well, this is not gonna work out. Come on. Just, uh, legendary boy later. Or next, I mean. Stop chasing me around a circle. Uh, weightless. Left arm. 90% weighs 90% less. And does not count as armor for the chameleon mutation. Oh! That's actually pretty neat. Except the fact that it's leather at level 30. So, you know, it's like that. Oh, fuck. That was like a missile launching or something. Bronco Tower, ammo dump. Right, we already got these. Never mind. No, not another one! Well, while we're here... I might as well throw one in. Okay. Craft upgraded motors, huh? Is that an Unstoppables comic? Nice. Was it above me? Okay. Ah, boy. We need um, a, a workbench of some sort. I think home might be the best option to go and just kind of craft those. So yeah, here's what we'll do. I will, um, I guess, we're going to wait for the supply drop to happen. I'm going to, anyway. I'm going to grab that, whatever the hell's in it, go home, um, deal with all that, craft these upgraded motors, and then when we reconvene, I'll uh, probably go over here again. I mean, I'm assuming we need to go over here again for whatever. Oh, wait, I can craft them from up there. Ah. Okay, yeah. Um, next time we begin, we'll go to Abby's bunker and craft the things and figure out where we need to next be at. How about that? Does that sound good to everyone? Sounds good to me. Let's rock and roll. Until next time, bye now.